Victoria's first Aboriginal senator is about to be sworn into the federal parliament. The Greens' Lydia Thorpe replacing the party's former leader, Richard De Natale. Ashley McGee reports. <laughs> I was born into a very strong uh, activist family, uh, well known in Victoria, the Thorpe family. I grew up in, the, in public housing. It was tough at times and you had to survive. There was still a lot of uh, violence from uh, the police, particularly against uh, Aboriginal people in, in our community. But the flats were and still are, you know, a place that um, I hold close to my heart because it provided a safe place for, for me and my family. Lydia Thorpe comes from a long line of strong Aboriginal women. Activism and politics is in her blood. Well, she didn't have much choice because we were all protesting at that time. It was really the start of the NAIDOC marches. And so she was right in the middle of that mix, as our family was. Since I was five, I've been protesting. I'm 47, so I'm, I'm tired of our people being ignored and not being given a seat at the table. In 2017, Lydia Thorpe was elected to the Victorian Upper House. It was an electrifying moment for uh, progressive politics. To go into the Victorian Parliament, being the only Aboriginal person in the Parliament, was, you know, it was um, sometimes scary also, it was challenging. Lydia Thorpe identifies as Aboriginal, but told the ABC she does not identify as Australian. The other side of politics, they want to call themselves progressive. How about crave it? Well, I've been told, like, don't say anything. I'm not allowed to say anything because it is, it's terrible to see the, you know, how people can react. She was born in 1973. She was always a pretty good kid. She was the oldest of all of the grandchildren. At 17, Lydia became a mother herself. She moved into her own housing commission flat with her son, Andrew. She now has three kids. The youngest, Kayan, is just 12. Here I am on Ngunnawal and Ngambri country, otherwise known as Canberra. Lydia Thorpe will be sworn in as a Green Senator for Victoria next week. It's exciting, it's scary, it's going to be a challenge, but I'm up for it. I just feel that I'm at a stage in my life where, you know, this is my last shot at trying to make a difference. I wasn't surprised. In fact, I thought, what else is she going to do? <laughs> Lydia Thorpe wants a treaty with Indigenous Australians and a new national identity. We can talk about a whole lot of other examples, such as the flag or the Australian anthem. Uh, I've never participated in the Australian anthem. Some people um, may be quite or feel quite offended hearing you say that about the anthem or the flag. Yeah, and I feel that pain in terms of I know what it's like to feel offended when I see Australian flags all over the, the media on the 26th of January and, and you know, drinking and partying when that day represents so much loss to our people. I feel, I feel that pain too. I know that people see me as this radical, angry black woman. And yes, I can be that. But I am a nice person too. And I'm a mum, I'm a grandmum, I'm a sister, auntie. But I have to continue to also fight. Uh, this struggle that so many Aboriginal people in this country are struggling with.
That's the program for tonight. See you at the same time on Monday. Good night.